Welcome to another edition of Search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernethy, and of course, I'm your host, Tom Abernethy. Have a great show for you today. We actually have an interview. We're going to listen to a real story of a Sasquatch sighting. That's going to be very interesting. We also found some tracks. We're going to evaluate those. And of course, uh, we're going to just keep searching for Squatch. So stay tuned for another edition of Search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernathy. And I'm your host, Tom Abernathy. Possible juvenile Squatch track. Notice the shape on the road. See the heel form. Somewhat of some toe structure. And it's actually heading off into the woods. So this is where we've been searching. Squatchy. We've got a new t toy working with the Squatch Cam where you can see me uh, work the Squatch footage as I walk through the woods looking for Squatch. And that's what I'm doing right now. Found, found a track just up the road there. So we're just kind of walking, see if we can't find something else. Got a couple lanes here, looks like maybe a Squatch trail. But uh, this will be useful at night once I get it finalized and we can work on uh, the tree knocks and howls and that sort of thing. Right now it's just daytime, we're just kind of searching around. But just wanted to show, show you all this new invention that one of our viewers actually sent. So we appreciate that. Squatchy. Tom Abernath here. It was just an armadillo, but armadillos are great squatch food. You find their shell carcasses all over where the squatch has consumed them. We're gonna press on. Squatch aim. Again, no sponsor for TAB, but when I am squatching, burn a lot of calories, I trust Muscle Milk Protein Nutrition Shake. 20 grams protein, lactose free. That's Muscle Milk, and I prefer chocolate. Muscle milk. Squatchy. What the hell is that? With Gerald Applewood, and he's going to walk us through his encounter with a potential Sasquatch. So. Okay, uh, Tom, one day I was in the back pasture riding, and I'd look over and dogs were raising hell. And I don't know what I saw, but it was big, had lots of hair, and I knew it wasn't a bear because no bear in this country. And then I thought, well, it might be a hog, but it's too big for a hog. So I thought, well, what the hell it could it be? And then I thought, I don't, I, my old hair stood back up in my back, didn't know what it was, and come home and tell the wife, I said, you know, I seen something over there, I don't know what it was, kind of scary. And she said, well, what do you think it was? I said, well, it, it couldn't have been no bear. I said, there no bear in this country. It kind of looked like a bear, but I know it can't be a bear. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe it was a wild hog, but it was way too big for a wild hog. And then she said, well, it was old Sasquatch. I said, what? I said, yeah, Sasquatch. He said, there's a gentleman in town that's been, uh, there's been a lot of reports that's been out in this part of the country. 
So maybe that's what it was. I can't say that it was, but I can't say it wasn't. You know what I mean, Tom? Yes, sir. Did did you notice the creature's hair color? Well, they were kind of they were kind of brown or black, you know. I don't know, you know, but it sure would have been a big buck, you know, if it was that. Did you uh, see its the color of its eyes or or face? Well, no, not really. Kind of, I think I kind of his eyes were kind of kind of like my dog there. Come here, Daisy. Come here. Look at my dog's eyes right there. They kind of look like his. You know, I can't say. Kind of a little yellow looking eye. Come here, dog. Look over here. Hell, get this Sasquatch dog right here. Right there. Oh yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Did it have a? Did you catch an odor, or, or how close were you to this? Well, creature? I'm gonna say probably 50, 60 yards, something like oh, that. Oh, pretty, pretty close. Pretty close, you know, kind of. You know, you you ever been a horseback out in the pasture and kind of ride on something that you you, you kind of surprised an old cow or something? Right. They'll jump right. and get in that blood before you know it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it was like, you know. But I know it was kind of on the, it was kind of down on his forward. But when it kind of run up on him, he kind of stood up, and I thought, God Almighty, what the hell is that? You know? That definitely was probably a squatch then. Hell, buddy, we better have another drink on that on that little old scary, don't you? Oh, that? I think we should. Okay. Tom Abernethy, Gerald Applewood, signing out. Squatchy. You've got mail. Welcome to our mail section of the show. We've got some good emails this week. Uh, like always, please send your email request to tomabernathy22 at gmail.com. That is tomabernathy22 at gmail.com. We also have a Facebook search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernathy. Squirrel up there. First email is from Bearcat. He was wanting to know what tranquilizer darts we were using on a couple episodes ago. Well, we can't say that publicly because we don't want everybody going out and trying to buy or steal tranks, but I'll, I will send you a, an email telling you the trank darts that we used for the search for Sasquatch. But that's a good, good question. And if anybody else would like to know, just send us a private email on that. Next question is from Richard out of Littlefield again. Tom, I noticed you were wearing your sunglasses at night. Yes, I like to wear gla sunglasses at night. Uh, I've got some eye problems and also keeps me from jabbing a stick in my eye. Something along those lines. The last email is from our good buddy John and Benbrook who writes... Suck it, Tom. Hmm. It's a good one, John. You always, uh, you always send some good emails, and we, we enjoy reading them on, on the show. That's all the time we have on the show today. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, Sasquatch is as you will it. Stay squatchy, my Sasquatch brothers and sisters. Squatching <laughs> <laughs> roads. Looking for squat sign. He's got to be careful. Ugh. Get out of here. Ugh. Watch out for bees, too. Sometimes I'll get in the woods. Squatch it. Gangnam Style